Good morning, everybody. I do hope you're well today. It's uh, Shannon Simpson chiming in for Toolbox Tuesday. Uh, the summer is already starting to cool off in the mornings. I can't believe it. Um, it's August 16th today, and I wanted to just to do a little shout out. Thanks for joining me today. Um, if you're joining me live, um, that's fantastic. And if you're chiming in for the replays, thank you. I appreciate you taking the time to do that. We are moving towards September. I don't know about you, but I'm already in back to school a little bit thinking about school schedules and everything. Um, but I want to I want to shift gears to my topic today, which is connection. I'm dedicating this Toolbox Tuesday to an old, um, amazing boss slash friend, Lou Gillette Scheffler. Um, today's um, topic is connection near and dear to my heart. I this weekend, Marty and I hosted an awesome uh, party home, in our home, a dance party, which we absolutely love to do. Um, I have been told for a long time, and something that I absolutely love to do is bring people together and connect people. Um, when I organize a party, um, it isn't work for me. I, I love cleaning my house, I love organizing, I love planning, I love sending out the lists, making the lists, gathering the food, picking the flowers for the tables. And I know for some people that might feel like work, but you know, I love when um, we know what we're good at and what brings joy for us. And for, for me, and I think for Marty too, organizing and bringing people together is something that we really enjoy. Um, when I lived on the mainland, um, when Marty and I lived on the mainland um, in Cloverdale, we used to have these huge parties and, and they didn't start out huge. Um, at Christmas time, we would have like 70 people in our home. And in the summertime, we would host these big parties and some of them would be up to 110 people. But it wasn't about the amount of people. It was the community. It was the connections. I would always say to Marty, I love the fact that all my different groups of people come together and have gotten to know each other. And now when we host our parties, that everybody is looking forward to seeing each other because all of our friends know each other now friends and family. And so our parties really became, and even here on Vancouver Island are starting to become um, a little bit like a reunion of sort. Um, you know, everybody kind of looks forward to coming to our house to connect with the people that they met last time and, you know, start those conversations and pick up where they left off from last time, which is, what community is all about. Um, so yeah, we, we, I, I've been told many times that I am a collaborator and it is definitely what I love to do. Uh, in 1999, I graduated both from Douglas College and from the therapeutic recreation program. Uh, sorry, at UBC, I graduated from UBC. Um, uh, with my Bachelor of Human Connects and Douglas College at the Therapeutic Recreation Program. And one of the things that we talked about um, in the TR program often was about making your job your leisure. So when you do what you love, then it isn't work anymore. And I love that. Um, so when um, our job is doing what we love again it's not it's not work um, so I worked at uh, Peace Arch Hospital for over 10 years and we we um, I worked with seniors in extended care and 
I loved showing up every day at work and I remember the elevator doors would open and the residents would say, Shannon's here. And what was planned for today? And they were all, there was this excitement in the air all of a sudden. And, you know, I loved planning um, those get togethers and the parties and the country fairs and the show and shines and the big, huge 250 people Christmas parties and bringing people together. And it really was my leisure. It was what I loved to do. And, um, you know, everything about it, like the fundraising too, and the, and the training of the volunteers and the bus trips, all of that was so much fun. My work really was my passion. Um, so it's been 13 years since I've been at the hospital now. And we had the largest recreation therapy team in the Lower Mainland. There was 17 of us. And my boss, Lou, bless you, Lou, um, she inspired us to create amazing programs. Not only she did she inspire us to create amazing programs, she inspired us to believe in ourselves because she believed in us. And you know, Lou passed away eight years ago um, of a disease that I know oh so well. But even though cancer took her physical body, her spirit still lives within our hearts. And so Lou, I just wanna say a big shout out and a thank you to reminding us always to play and make sure that our job is our leisure and we are doing what we love and doing what we're passionate about. And, um, you know, Lou was dedicated to showing up on the floor and if we didn't go for coffee, she would be like, why are you not at coffee? Um, this is how we connect and this is really important that we are a team. And so to Lou for your dedication to play, your dedication to leisure and creating community, I say thank you. Um, so I guess I ask you today, what brings you joy and how do you create community in your life? I know I love throwing our parties and I love bringing people together and I love showing up here even though it scares me, um, but it's something that just brings me so much joy and I know when I'm in a place of joy, there's that trickle effect that happens that um, drop in the water, you know, the, the ripple effect, I guess I want to say. So sending love to you all. Um, I do hope you um, are doing what you love and doing what brings joy to your life. Sending love out to Lou and all the recreation staff at Peace Arch Hospital that I used to work with. And um, thanks for joining me today. I look forward to connecting with you next week. Bye for now.